Hey friends, today I want to look at 1 John chapter 2, verses 26 and 27. Now by way of context, I need to repeat what I read yesterday, but uh, beginning verse 24, the Apostle John says this, See that what you've heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father, and this is what he's promised us, even eternal life. Then he goes on to say, and here's our text for today, verses 26 and 27. I'm writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. So in other words, listen up. There are those who are trying to lead you astray, false teachers. Uh, he says, if for you, the anointing you receive from him remains in you, and you don't need anyone to teach you, but as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as that anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it's taught you, Remain in him. In other words, don't let these false teachers lead you astray. You heard the truth. You received the truth. The truth was applied to your soul and changed your life. And you have the Holy Spirit within you to guide you. So do not be deceived. Do not be tricked. Do not be led astray. Hold on to the truth as you received it. I'm writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. As for you, the anointing you receive from him remains in you. You do not need anyone to teach you, but as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as anointing is real, not counterfeit, just as it's taught you, remain in him. You've received the Holy Spirit. We have the word of God. Hold on to it for all your worth and place yourself under godly teaching. Those who will uphold the word of God, won't try and twist it to fit what we want it to say, but will encourage you, that will encourage me to bend the knee to the Lord Jesus Christ and his word and obey it. It was written in a way that we can understand. Take it to heart and follow it with all of, all of your soul. Think about these things and be encouraged.